Hey guys, this is Lee with Untapped Potential. Today we're doing a tutorial for a red-green deck using only the base set cards. In this review, we'll go through the deck list, discuss the lines of play when making mulligans, and show some key strategies you should use while piloting this deck to victory. Let's start with the deck list. Our deck utilizes 4 Goblin Arsonist, 3 Ember Hauler, 4 Timberland Guide, 3 Goblin Piker, 4 Inferno Fist, 4 Twin Bolt, 2 Reclamation Sage, 3 Wild Size, 3 Curd Chieftain, 4 Primal Hunt Beast, 3 Chorus of Might, 9 Mountains, 8 Forests, 2 Rootbound Crag, and 4 Gruel Guildgate. Don't worry if you missed any of that. There's a deck list in the description. Let's move on to mulligans. Red Green is an aggressive deck, and as such, you'll want to keep a hand that has multiple 2 or 3 drops that will allow you to get the beatdown going quickly. A combat trick is always a plus. You'll want to be careful though, as you want to make sure you can play your 2 drop. So if your hand is full of expensive creatures, or a 2 drop you can't cast, it's better to throw it back and try again. Similarly, a hand with too many lands and not very many 2 drops can be just as bad. You want a happy medium and a solid curve. 2 mana can be okay here, as that accommodates many of our smaller creatures as well as some of our powerful spells like Inferno Fist. Let's move on to our battle plan. This deck loves dropping creatures, cheap creatures as on curve as possible. A 1 drop followed by a 2 drop a 3 drop if possible, or a enchantment to make your creature more powerful, or a kill spell, whatever it takes to keep the opponent's field clear and you hitting your opponent's life total. That is what the red-green deck is all about. If you keep a good opening hand, games against your opponent will not last long and you will have control of the field the entire way. This deck capitalizes on opponents who have a slow start. Something that cannot be understated is the activated ability of Curd Ape. The ability to give your creature plus two plus two will allow you to win combats you would normally lose or allow you to get in for a few extra crucial points against your opponent. Also, the combat tricks we have in this deck will allow us to win important combats and keep our creatures alive even as we wipe out our opponents. Also. Our creatures tend to have higher power than toughness, which isn't always great for them in combat, but it does guarantee that they usually can at least trade up. I hope this video has been helpful to you, and I hope this helps you make better green-red decks that you can use to crush the AI. This has been Lee with Untapped Potential. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.